420. Hey, Chicka Boom. Hey, Tony. Um, no, um, this is the Lazy River at MGM. I'm uh, at MGM. So they have uh, four pools and a lazy, lazy river here. It's kind of like a resort, you know. Um, but it's interesting because only one of the three pools is open today. Um, occupancy is way down, the uh, lifeguard said, and, you know, uh, staffing. So interesting that. Uh, but, you know, all the kids started going back to school. So, um, hey, Warren. No, that's not going to happen, Warren. Um, yeah, so there's only one pool, but, but the Lazy River is so awesome. As you can see, it goes all the way around. And then there's a waterfall uh, kind of right over, right straight ahead. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for, congrats on the hand pay. That was uh, really a surprise. That was fun. It was a total degen mode of gambling, of course. Um, I had dinner last night at Lago, which is at the Bellagio. Hey, Delana. Yeah, there's a lot of ape updates on, on that and uh, some really good ones. So um, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Maybe Saturday I'll post another um, episode. So we'll see. Um, Um, there's no drink in my hand right now because I think I'm just going to get a soda because it's like over 100 degrees here. It's so hot. If I get like um, a mixed drink, it'll literally melt in like five minutes. And my experience with drinking by the pool when it's this hot, like you get really drunk really fast and then I can't really drink that much like that anymore because I'm old. You know, when you're in your 20s, you can drink and you're, you know, you're survivable. But when you get older like this, I, I can't. Because I could, like, I'm already getting really thirsty. So I could, like, you know, down a margarita or a daiquiri or something, like, really quick. So we're not going to do that. Um, but I will get a soda or something. Yeah, if you guys, um, if you guys want to ever know if someone's in jail or not, you just call the jail. Just Google, um, like, where I am you know, the Milwaukee County Jail or wherever you are, the county jail, you just call and they'll tell you if someone's in there or not. They're very friendly. Um, all of those corrections people's, uh, police officers, um, COs and stuff, you know, they're they're all uh, paid by us taxpayers. So it's really easy to get information. Um, so you can just call yourself and find out. I do know, but, you know. Rainy picture? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me refresh. Okay, is that better? Really sunny here, so. Um, yeah, so today, and then last night I ate at uh, Lago, which is uh, L-A-G-O, it's in the Bellagio, and it's beautiful. Uh, and I've never tried it. And the prices actually were very reasonable for, you know, the Bellagio. I had the uh, $71 bone-in ribeye steak. It came with potatoes and green beans. It was amazing. I only could eat half, but it was amazing. And then um, I played blackjack at the Bellagio last night, and I had an epic, um, an epic comeback, and I can't wait to post that because, you know, the dealers deal, you know, thousands of us every day here, and they they know when a shoe is good or not they do if you listen to them you know when they tell you to do something i always do it because they just they, they you know they do this every single day and uh i did but i had to get okayed from uh the upstairs people so the pit boss had to come over so i and they actually let me take a picture and film which i was shocked so i have it on film i mean it's it's a quick one but i did get it on film so i was really happy and uh I more than doubled on blackjack last night, so. Hey, trucker. Sweetie, if you're driving and texting, I'm going to have a word with you. Do not text and drive. Just, uh, just, uh, no, no, no. Unless you're waiting for your load. Always listen to a man. Arnold, hey, Arnold. Uh, you know. The dealer was really, he was so adorable. We had so much fun. 
yeah, he, uh, his name was Jason, too. Uh, I have never worn a bikini in my entire life, Trucker. It's not me. Nope, no bikini here. Got my old lady hat on and my old lady sunglasses. So. The Wi-Fi is better? Okay, great. Yeah, and the Lazy River goes all the way down there. There's like a little bridge over here. Yeah, I'm really surprised that there's um, only one pool out of the four. Yeah. So what's going on? I have my fancy uh, hat on and my old lady sunglasses on. It's awesome. It's awesome! Hey, Lisa! I know. You wish you were here? It would be fun! It's always fun, right? It's really hot. It's over 100 degrees. And in the sun, you're just baking. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful day. And Labor Day is coming up. What is today? Wednesday? Let's swim. Ben wants to swim. I, I, the minute I got, because I walked from Planet Hollywood over here, uh, the minute I got here, I jumped in the pool because it was so freaking hot. Yeah. Okay, Trucker, you're stopped on your 30 minute break. Good job. Good job. Drive careful, dear. Crazy drivers out there. Yeah, Lisa, I hit a hand pee in the high limit room uh, playing uh, Lightning Link. $1,690 um, um, hand pee, and it only had 100 in it, so that was nice. Yeah. So now I'm back up ahead. And uh, I'm ahead, and I had a really good blackjack, blackjack session last night at uh, the Bellagio. Who plays, who plays blackjack at the Bellagio? <laughs> I don't think I ever have in my entire life. Oh my gosh, but it was hopping. It was hopping. Thanks, Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, Dragon Link, I'm sorry. Dragon Link, Locket Link, Lightning Link. What? All that fun stuff is, you guys know what it is. Yeah, I just uh, hit the bonus, and then I got a, a lot of the... It was the Buddha one with the little Buddhas that come out. Um, yeah, then all the Buddhas came out. <laughs> the Buddhas came out, yay! And I met another a subscriber last night. He was in the High Limit Room. It's GU. I've seen him in my chat before. I met him, sweetie. Yeah, so... So I've met Arnold and Paige and SD and GU and Dougie. That was fun. Hey Jennifer. I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, no, I do listen to men. I listen. I would say men don't listen to us more than we don't listen to them. Just an observation. What'd you say, Jennifer? <laughs> yeah, Jennifer. Um, I am at MGM. I'm at the uh, Lazy River. I'm at the Lazy River at MGM. Yay! It's very, very hot here. Yeah, so I'm not going to go live tonight. Um, probably tomorrow, Thursday. But yeah. I've got some more filming to do. I want to go over to the new Martha Stewart restaurant at the Paris and maybe have an appetizer and film what's going on there. Also, Bally's, either last week or the week before, took down their Bally sign and now they put up the horseshoe sign and I haven't been over there yet. Um, I haven't even been over to the Flamingo yet. I haven't been over to the Wynn or anything. So I'm going to go do all that uh, tonight, do some more filming. So, yeah. All right. All right, so here's the, more of the Lazy River. Here we go. Daddy. 
Um, I currently am not seeing any shows. Uh, there is, um, who's coming in? I think Pit, Pitbull's coming in September, some, like, 10th through the 17th or something for a week. Um, and, uh, one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite guys is uh, Ben Ben Platt. Uh, I just love him. He's coming here right after Labor Day. Of course, I'm just going to miss him. I would definitely go to go to him. He's going to be over at the new at the old Hard Rock. What is it called now? The old Hard Rock. Uh, yeah, but I just miss him here. You could actually fly back just to see. I would I would fly back just to see him. He's so awesome. I love his songs. What is Jennifer saying? You know that Italian restaurant you're talking about, Lisa? I almost went there once. Um, I heard they give you free wine all night. Um, it does look good. It, it, it looks uh, classic. So Jen's on a plane and what if she's... She's, what did she do? Jen's on a plane. Oh no, Jen. Well, maybe when the plane takes off, it's in the air, you can just nonchalantly go in another seat. Pretend like you're going to the bathroom and then just don't come back and just go to another seat if it's not full. That's what I would do. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Arnold, any plans to go to the casino this weekend or no? Just gonna wait till Monday again to go back online. Did we lose Arnold? The food is awesome. Yeah, cause I looked at it like, a, a dinner for two is like 120 bucks, which isn't bad. Um, as long as the food's good, you know. Yeah, it's, it's a real classic uh, Italian place. I know exactly what you're talking about. Arnold says he does what he wants. Yeah, that's good. Nice finger. Where's my finger? Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's pretty tough to get a tube here because people hog them. As you can see right across the river, they're hogging tubes. They're not using them, but they're hogging them. Should be a law against that. No hogging inner tubes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jen, did you move seats yet? All right, Jen's on it. Oh, do they have them on the wall? Do they have all the pictures of like Elvis and all of that on the wall? What did you say, Trucker? What are you doing? Trucker, you deleted your um, your post. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you were in Denver yesterday? You did it? Yeah, it is amazing. This is the Lazy River at MGM, the MGM Grand Hotel. It's like the first one um, coming down on the strip from the airport. Yeah. I think MGM and Mandalay Bay, I think, are the only ones with the Lazy River. I could be wrong. I mean, at Resorts World, I haven't been, I have never stayed there yet, so I don't know if they have a Lazy River. Um, Probably not. I think Resorts World is geared toward uh, more toward businesses and families or you know people with kids. Um, garbage, you're too busy for pool time. Yeah. You've never been to a pool in Vegas? Oh. Really? That's weird. Um, yeah, there's enough chlorine in the water to kill anything. 
Lisa wants to take a nap on a floaty. There, there are some people taking naps on floaties right now. Really. <laughs> well, I don't have a pool like this at home. Maybe you do in Madison, but I don't, so. Arnold, are you a little grouchy today? What's up? What is up? So our little SD kitty still not feeling good. Sucks. Hate being sick. Being sick sucks. He's gonna knock that off. My dad's not feeling good either. You started to leave a hit and bump and then what? Is, what? 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 Okay, trucker. I think SD's on a permanent vacation. He just, you know, he is. He's living his best life and, you know. I mean, I can't imagine just like, you know, going from casino and driving around the country and gambling. I mean, I mean, it's really fun. It is like you're on a permanent vacation. Even though, it's, I mean, it's work. I mean, you know, downloading and doing all the videos and the music videos are great. So it's like a work vacation. And it's just, it's kind of a nice thing because like he's probably got so much footage from the last, you know, three months. You know, if he does need a break, you know, he can take a break and just keep uploading. You know, you can you can be in a casino for like three days and film enough for like three months, you know, if you have a bankroll. So, yeah. Hey, no one's here at the Lazy Room right now. Yeah. It is work. Yeah. But, yeah, he does make it seem so much fun. It's, it, I mean, when I, when I met him in person, I, just seeing him live was just a riot is so much fun and he's just as genuine as he is online as in person it was, oh, it was amazing it was amazing you know and of course he hit that that hand pan crazy rich agents was, was just so much damn fun it's so much more fun in vegas when you're winning than you're losing that is for sure <laughs> you know yeah gets old after a while what does garbage well he, no he has more than a four state radius doesn't he because I mean, he's been over in illinois and i wonder how far east he's gone has he ever been to like uh, jersey like back in the day i mean there's some older videos that he was in vegas five years ago so i mean he doesn't just i mean right now he's kind of in this circle of casinos that he likes or has permission to film in, you know. He doesn't leave Quick Trip County. <laughs> Quick Trip County, y'all. I mean, if you love what you're doing, it never gets old. Like, I, what I do for a living, been doing it since I was 22 years old. Freaking long time, oh my God. And I still love it every single time I go out. So, um, I don't feel like it's work. I mean, it is. I work my butt off, but um, I love it. Refresh? Okay, Tony. Refreshing. Hooking? Uh, not currently. Is that better? I refreshed. I refreshed. So I was thinking Thursday night go live with $300 in The Hobbit. 
That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go. Hobbit Thursday night, 300 bucks. Why not? Any suggestions? I don't know. There's some chicks for you right there. You want me to get her number? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Trucker, knock it off. It's too bright out here. Really? I know. The sun is brutal. <laughs> you don't need any assistance with the ladies? I'm sure you don't. We would love to see you in action one day. That would be a video, right? Arnold goes to the casino in Madison, starts hitting on the chick, scores. That would be a really fun video. You're welcome for the idea. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Yep. Okay, now I need something to drink with some interest. Yeah. So either a lot of you have um, second shift jobs or you're at your job that you can text. Or whatever, be on your phone. No, I need bifocals, that's what I have to do. Um, if I go to the eye doctor and get a new prescription where when I look down, I can see for reading and then when I look up, I can see for a distance, that's what I need to do. But I'm too lazy to go to the eye doctor. Too lazy to go to the eye doctor. I'm just so used to taking off my glasses to see to read um, or to you know look at the computer or the phone. So. Oh, someone's calling. Who's calling? Call you back. They're called progressive lenses? Is that what they're called? Awesome. They used to be called bifocals, but now they're called progressive lenses. Yeah, that's what I need. I need progressive lenses. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. Uh, okay. I had the idea of the whipped cream on your face, but SD had the original idea because he wanted to do the whipped cream on my face like Mrs. Doubtfire. So I can't really take credit for that idea because really it stemmed from Esty's idea. He started with the cake and the whipped cream, so it's really his idea. Yeah, we didn't get to do that, but I'm sure I'll owe him $100 whenever he gets back to the Dells. And <laughs> or maybe not, maybe he'll owe him $100. We'll see what Lula machine I was playing. Yeah. Ooh, these these three guys are super cute. Oh, check it out, ladies. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. Oh my goodness, Jennifer. Jennifer, get over here. <laughs> get over here. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised no one's yelled at me. Can't I stream here? They are really good memories, aren't they? Lisa, they are going to be great members. I don't know what, when she's going to post that video, but it's hysterical. Paige and I were dying. It was, it was great. She was filming all of us, and I was filming just them two. I had it up on my channel for a couple, but then I took it down because Ho Chunk had a little hissy fit. So I'll after after Essie posts posts his, I'll probably post mine again. So. Yeah, Jennifer, come over. So you have the uh, progressive glasses, Tony, and you love them? Ooh, really? Yeah, I think that is... Um... Chickaboom, you have bifocal contacts? How do they stay down? Like, how don't they float around? I've heard of them, but... I mean, because I've worn contacts my whole life. It's just when I got into my 50s, I had to start wearing glasses. Because for work, I have to see to read, and I can't. 
And then they said, oh, yeah, there's bifocal contacts. I'm like, You're, how, do you, how do they work? No, I don't like transition lenses. The ones that get dark when you hit when you go outside. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're weighted. <laughs> really? So they stay. Oh wow. That is really cool. Yeah, I've worn contacts my whole life. Just pop them in in the morning. I've I've always had the breathable. Well, the, like the last ten years, they had the breathable ones. Um, I would never leave them in overnight. I would take them out every day, but, you know, they last a month and you just get a new pair. Lisa, one eye is near and one eye is far. That's how they do it? No, I could never do that. <gasps> that would be awful. Really? How in the... No. Really? they sit in a certain direction yeah the center is for the distance and the perimeter is for reading uh, so when you look down so when you look straight ahead you can see but then when you look down you can see for reading oh. all right Arlo I'm looking for more hot chicks there aren't any coming down the uh, river right now so I'll just uh, hang on air optics wow you have air optics? That sounds really fancy. Yeah, one of the YouTube jackets, but yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. Air optics. I've heard I've heard commercials on that, so. Hey, little Dutchie. You had the one for... Wait, wait, wait. Little Dutchie. Yeah, I can't imagine. I would do well with that. You had the one eye for near and the other one for far, and you couldn't get used to them? Yeah, how the hell are you going to get used to that? Just walk around with one eye shut all the time, and then you're... Oh, my gosh. That's that's just... Who could do that? Who could do that? Who could do that? Yeah, and then they don't give you your money back if they don't... Did you try another... Did you try these optic uh, contact lenses? Little touchy with the perimeter, like you can see far um, through the middle, but then when you look down, like the perimeter is for close up for reading. Did you ever try those? Get a refund. <laughs> Bless you. Sneezing. Here's. Here's our Bausch and Lom. Warren, our, which ones do you have? Interesting. COVID cough. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you just went back to regular contacts and cheaters. Like glass for reading, yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you see my leg? I'm sorry. It's so bright out here, I can't really see the... I'm just blind in general. Okay, we got some more people coming. We got uh, a couple more people coming down the river. Lisa just Googled Aeropix multifocus. Yeah. No, no more leg. Uh -uh. Nope. Sassy. I'm an old lady. Oh my god, you guys, I might have to jump in the pool. I'm like really roasting now. Whew. It's very, very hot. Oh, I gotta show you. I bought this. Um, you guys probably know what this is. It's like a little case. And uh, do you see it? It, it's got a really, really strong, like, uh, zipper, and then you put your phone in there and, like, your, you know, cash and credit cards, and then you can go swimming with it. It's amazing. My phone stayed really dry. I was like, yay. You know, because you don't want to leave anything by the pool. Hi, Benjamin. 
Hey, Buffalo. Buffalo man. How's it going? Yeah, the little uh, pouch. All right. Oh, there's two ladies coming down the uh, river for Arnold again. They have bikinis on. Arnold, here they come. Pay attention. <laughs> here they come. Thanks, Buffalo Man. Okay, Arnold. Do you like yellow bikinis or pink? Yellow or pink bikinis? <laughs> this is kind of fun. I didn't know how this would go. <sighs> oh. I just sit up. Okay. Oh my god, it's so bright out here. I can't. I just can't. Alright guys, I'm gonna sign off. I gotta go jump in the pool. It is like freaking whatever million degrees out here. Thanks for chatting. I'll go live tomorrow night. So I hope to see you there. Have a wonderful day. Wish you were here. Jump in for a dip. It's, it is it is really, really hot. I am gonna jump in right now. Alright. Have a wonderful day guys. Thanks for joining. Thanks for chatting. A uh, little uh, poolside session. And I uh, guess have a great night. Bye.